Hey, what's up guys? Hellside here, bringing you a game of StarCraft 2. This is a game I just finished playing literally seconds ago. Uh, I thought it was a really good game. Um, how I started it off was I was originally going to go two base, uh, two hatch into Hydras, uh, which is the macro build that I've been doing. Um, and it's been pretty consistently winning, but uh, what I do there is I'll get 10 drones, I'll do an extractor trick, uh, and then uh, putting me at 11 drones, I'll build an overlord at 10, I'll build a spawning pool at 11, um, and then I, w I would scout to see what I can do, but since this is uh, a novice map, uh, there are the rocks here preventing me from doing that, so I just have to wait a long time to scout with my overlord, but... Just look at that, look at that, get units, income, we'll go with income. Um, but, uh, I kind of lost my train of thought, um, at 11 I would scout, and then I would build a queen as soon as, as soon as possible, basically, uh, that would be as soon as my, uh, spawning pool finishes, because you can't get a queen unless you have a spawning pool. And then I would build, you know, maybe like four zerglings and possibly a spine crawler at my at my natural um just in case I get cheesed, but again, that's not entirely necessary since there are the destructible rocks here and here. Uh so people really it it really takes a long time to cheese someone on this map, but not not on this map in general, just like or not on this map in particular. In general, it takes a while to cheese people on maps with destructible rocks. Anyway, um, then I would build an Overlord at 18, an Extractor at 18, um, expand on 20. Obviously, when I said I was going to put some spine crawlers here, that wouldn't be till later. I would just build the Zerglings in advance. Um, expand on 20. Lair as soon as possible. 24 Overlord, 25 Extractor, and as soon as the Lair pops, Hydralisk then. But um, I don't do that this game, and we're gonna we're gonna see why. So my Overlord comes in here. He's scouting, uh, and so I see that uh, with my scout. Let me just, uh, I've seen the two supply depots. Obviously, his base. Um, I haven't seen a barracks. I haven't seen a barracks yet, so I don't. I have no idea that he's been producing a barracks, which seems kind of odd for me. There's the gas, so I know he's going some kind of gas build, uh, which really doesn't mean much to me right now because I don't know what that means. Uh, Overlord comes over here. I see the barracks. Um, just get a little bit further here. Uh, back at base, I'm still doing my normal build. Uh, I just finished expanding. Blah blah blah, and then I see this here. Uh, I see the bunker, and what it looks like to me is he's gonna start walling off, or, or turtle. Yeah, he's gonna uh, just wall off his entrance here. Um, so what I decided to do as soon as I saw that and was build a baneling nest. And what I'm gonna do here is do a baneling bust. And if you guys don't know what a baneling bust is, or I just throw down the baneling nest and then immediately research my. Uh, Metabolic boost, for those of you who do know what it is. Uh, it's a baneling speedling bust, I should say, not just baneling. Um, what a baneling bust is, you get a bunch of zerglings with the metabolic boost. So you get a bunch of speedlings. You get a baneling nest. You you come over here to, like, right outside of their, of their main. You send a, a speedling up here to scout. Uh, you bring it back down. Um... You're going to morph some banelings outside here. Uh, how many? You're going to want to morph five to, I think, eight um, is the minimum if if they walled off with, like, a supply depot. Uh, so if you if you just, if they even use one supply depot, you only need five. And here I'm just, like, getting a bunch of lings here, as I am supposed to do. My metabolic boost about to finish. It should finish in time. I see these destructible rocks go down. I've got my overlords here scouting. 
uh, to see if he tries to pull anything funny. But anyway, uh, if, if you see the just one supply depot here, it just takes five Bane Links to destroy one supply depot, if you hit all of them. Now, the problem with that is, he's got a bunker here. So by the time all five Bane Links got up to here, probably two or three of them would have died, especially considering this is another bunker that he built here, and this is another bunker that he built here. As you can see here. He's throwing down another, throwing down a starport, actually, which I thought was kind of interesting. As soon as I got there, my speedlings are breaking through the door, and, and we'll, we'll see what I mean. Uh, but anyway, you run five banelings up the ramp, uh, usually people block with a barracks and like two supply depots or something. So usually you only need f five banelings to come up here. But if they block with something more sturdy, which he didn't actually block here, which was surprising for me. He just sort of built a bunch of bunkers here, which was confusing to me. Um, here just expanding a bit, getting up my economy, something to fall back on if this goes awry, which it occasionally will. Which my Overlord that I was surprised lived. Uh, and here I come back here and I morph eight banelings. Um, the reason I morphed eight banelings was because just before this, I and I morph here. I mor I'll morph some more here in a minute. Uh, just bring those back. Hotkey him to two. Hotkey my zerglings to one. And I morph more here because just before this I had played a game where I kind of like I was gonna go for uh, for my my two hatch into Hydra. So my macro build, and I kind of messed it up. Um, not not too much, but it, it kind of bugged me. So I just went straight into a ten pool instead of going for the two hatch into Hydra. Um, so here I left the rocks there. So I'm just bringing those in to finish them, get my banelings into position. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send my zerg my my speedlings into scout to see if he has a main and I'm just gonna switch to my view now. So I run him up the ramp to see what kind of wall off he had and I was like he doesn't have a wall off. So my plan here is just to run all of these banelings up the ramp and try to kill as many of these bunkers as I can because the bunkers are gonna be a huge pain. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit of micro. My banelings are gonna go in three, four, five. I think five of them went down. Uh, a bunch of them exploded. Took out the one. Uh, got the I got the one bunker here, got the other bunker really low, my speedlings going to finish it off. My speedlings are going to promote this bunker, take them out. Uh, there are a few marines here, my uh, speedlings killed them. Uh, marine stragglers left over back at base. I'm macroing back up, I'm going to send. Um, and I started the lair, like right before I went in, because I wanted, again, I wanted something to be able to fall back on. And I can't really fall back on anything if I don't have a lair. Um, I could fall back into Mutas or Hydras, which is the most common thing to do after a Speedling Rush. Or, or a Bane Bust, basically the same thing. Just kill off those Orients. Uh, bring some more Zerglings in. Uh, and I think that's when I stopped sending the Zerglings. Actually, here in a minute. And I'll tell you why I stopped sending the Zerglings as soon as we see it. I'm just going to pull some of those over here. This was what made me decide. And here immediately, um, it, it wasn't actually seeing this Banshee here that made me want to get my Mutas, or my Spire, I guess I should say. It was seeing this Starport here. And I kind of figured that you would be able to get one or two or units out uh, before I was able to destroy the Starport. It kind of went down through that, I expected, to be, to be fair. Um, I'm going to split my Zerglings up a bit. Not incredibly well, but decently well. So that's gonna finish soon. Uh, just, just finish everything off that I can. Uh, he has the one extractor there. He lifted up his command base really well, but again, uh, it, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I guess it's an orbital command, not a command post. And I called it a command base, like a boss. Uh, but I don't know if you know that, that can hold six SCVs. Um, I don't know about an orbital command, because I really didn't look too much into Terran, because I didn't even finish the campaign. Uh, but here, let's look at the production tab here. My Spire finished. Production. 13 Mutalisks. Boom. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 
So keep in mind, I just basically destroyed everything. He can't produce air units right now. He can't produce anti-air units with his barracks, marines. Um, he can't produce missile turrets because he has no engineering bay or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, so I'm just able to just come in here and do what I want after, of course, I pick off this Banshee. Uh, I see this is almost done. I'm like, hey, I don't want to deal with it, so why not just take it out? Uh, so I get the barracks out of the way. I come over here. And that's where he gave up, I guess. I, I thought I killed the Banshee, but um, fair enough. Uh, it, it was GG, to be completely fair. Uh, so this is a shorter game, uh, but it was one I just played. I thought it was... Um, kind of a, a a really stomp game to be honest because i felt like he didn't really even have a chance um but it was just one of those decisions in my mind this was like the first thing i did where i actually started off with one build scouted a bit and then transitioned to, into another build and had it work really 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 well um so i was i was pretty proud of myself for that so i just kind of wanted to do a video on this one um again check uh, just the um, usual routine. Check my check the description for my Twitter, my Facebook, and my live stream. Not my live stream, my Twitch TV, but my stream. Occasionally, I will stream. Um, I might start checking my Twitter more often if I get like one follower. I'll start checking it, you know, at least daily. Um, I have it set to my email, so I can, you know, I'll, I'll know. I won't have to check. But right now I have zero followers, so I don't really want to, <laughs> you know, stay updated on something that is getting, like, no... There's nothing to stay updated to, is basically what I'm trying to say. But anyway, uh, this has been another StarCraft 2 game, ZVT. Uh, so far I've done a ZVZ, a ZVP, and a ZVT, which I didn't plan, but hey. <sighs> it's worked out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Hellside. Peace.